Hello, I'm Garrett Finney, founder, CEO, and chief designer at Taxa Outdoors. We make our habitats in Space City, USA, also known as Houston. We are 60 strong and growing, and I'm here today to show you the 2021 Mantis, which I'm really excited about. The Mantis is the largest of our four habitats and the most feature rich. It sleeps four adults comfortably, and if you have a bigger family than that, you can start adding hammocks and rooftop tents to get up to seven. The 21 Mantis comes in white with a new gray graphics package and our brand new orange tent. At Taxo, we make our habitats out of the highest quality materials, from the powder coated chassis and black steel skeleton to our panels, which are insulated composite panels of aluminum and EPS foam with Kynar paint, which never fades. Our countertops are Baltic birch with HPL laminate on the top of them. The bodies of our cabinets are Baltic birch, which is tough. And then our decks are made of inch and a quarter plywood with laminated ABS on the street side, on the road side, and a coin pattern on the top. Because we use premium materials and pay attention to detail, we are pleased to offer a two-year structural warranty end-to-end -end and a one-year warranty on plumbing and electrical. Sitting on the tongue of the 21 Mantis, um, like the Cricket Habitat, we have gravel guards, we have two 20-pound bottles of propane, we have the storage, for the seven pin connector to keep water out of it when it's not attached to your tow vehicle. We have tow chains and a safety brake. And of course we have our auto brake, which we like to feature. Uh, it's a great proportional brake system where you don't have to do any wiring in your tow vehicle. Let me show you the driver's side of the Mantis. Um, it's hookups and openings. This hatch opening is where the cassette toilet from your built-in toilet, if you have that option, comes. It's lockable and you remove the cassettes by unclipping it, pulling it out and rolling it to a dump station or your home toilet. Moving back, we have the exhaust vent for the Truma hot water and furnace. We have the city water if you're attached to potable water. We have the 30 amp inlet. Taxa provides a little pigtail because we think that provides you a lot of uh, variability in how you attach a 110 outlet in a garage or at a campsite. We all our habitats are pre-wired for solar panels. And this is where the freshwater tank fill happens if you're going off the grid and you want to fill up your 20 gallon freshwater tank. The gray water tank, if you're taking a shower or sink, the valve is right up down under here. A typical gate valve for dumping in a dump station or however you handle your gray water. And last of all, we have our outside shower hose off section. Um, hot and cold water with a quick disconnect shower wand that attaches right here. The 21 Mantis has a new 8000 BTU air conditioner. You unlatch this latch and there are driving locks on the inside, which are unlocked right now. So I'm able to pull it out to its operating position. You can also push it out from the inside if that's how it works. And then you are good to go. I'm on the rear of the Mantis um, to give you a quick tour. We have a spare tire. We have four stabilizing jacks for a steady camping experience. We have this ladder storage system that gets you up to the roof where your Thule load bars are and you can put anything up there you want. We have styled a three person tent right now. This middle step is also sized to hold a five gallon NATO can, whether it's fuel or water is up to you. Um, also cleverly built into this step are bottle openers if you need one. One of the most distinctive features of the Mantis is the giant hatch at the rear. It's over four feet wide and tall for loading and talking and hanging out under the roof. This strap here is for closing the hatch. If you're sitting inside, you can just grab the strap. And uh, if it's raining, you put this down here so the roof of the hatch is sloped outwards. Uh, you get a little bit less headroom, but you don't have rain inside. On the passenger side of the Mantis, which I almost always think of as the campground site, is where we have our largest windows for a great view from the inside to the outside on your family or friends who are at your campsite. This window is often opened up to its maximum and becomes a food service pass-through window for drinks or sandwiches or whatever you want. Other features on this side are an eight-foot awning that stretch out for a great outdoor room, setting up tables and chairs and shady and rainproof spots. There's an LED porch light here. 
There's a 12 volt outlet for charging your phone or laptop or running some Christmas tree style lights. You can open the door of the Mantis. It has a door stop here, so it locks open so wind doesn't slam it shut. We make a feature out of our skeleton with carabiner loops to hang brooms or trash bags or anything you can think of here. And of course, there is a bug right over here. Let's go inside. Okay, I'm standing in the main hall of the Mantis. It's seven foot 11 here. It's five foot 11 at the end, other end of the sloping roof. And it's four foot seven if I have a seat down here. For 21, we changed the furniture quite a lot in the Mantis um, to make this steel sliding milk crate shelf system where you can use it as a drawer or bring something right outside. Right at the door, we have this great storage unit for insect repellent and keys and wallets. You can hang keys here, that kind of thing. All these light switches control the porch light, the red LED step light for safety, as well as turning on lights on the ceiling here. Um, there are fuses uh, and just a really convenient place to store all the small things you need from when you're reaching in from the outside. Here we are in the new kitchen for 2021. Um, we have a new storage system up here. It's open for cans and boxes full of spices and jars of olive oil. We have tall spaces and short spaces. Uh, you may need to secure them with a bungee uh, if you're on a dirt road. We have a sink that is separate from the two burner cooktop for deluxe cooking. And then we go down in this core kitchen and we have the power center for 12 volt and 110 volt and intelligent battery charging. We have a battery cutoff switch uh, when your habitat is in storage. Uh, we have a 110 outlet if you have shore power, 12 volt meter, a USB outlet to charge devices and switches for the water pump and uh, turning the Truma on and off and fuses. And this is your Truma control. So it's a pretty intelligent control that uh, manages your hot water heating and your furnace system. Your hot air is distributed through these ducts that you can aim forwards and backwards. Um, part of the milk crate storage drawers, one of them is right here for your kitchen, so you can carry a big part of your kitchen right outside if you're cooking outside. This bottom level has a cover panel for the Truma unit, the furnace and hot water. It has a propane and carbon monoxide detector for safety, and behind here, space for two group 24 or 27 batteries. On the left side of the kitchen core is another storage tower with three more milk crate drawers. Uh, you get a total of nine milk crates with your habitat um, that go in these storage towers and a few for under your sleeping area. On top of this tower is our new air conditioner, the 8000 BTU unit. Uh, it has driving locks for safety, so the heavy weight's not bouncing back and forth. So to deploy your unit, you need to undo those and you need to have gone outside and raised the cover. But now you can push it out and if you're plugged into shore power, you have cold air blowing. This side of the Mantis has also been changed. We have a fridge or cooler platform. There is room here for a trash can, a big trash can for all your camping needs. Um, if you are a 12 volt refrigerator person, this platform is also sized for most units of that. And there's a 12 volt outlet that's dedicated for that use. Okay, I'm seated in the uh, dinette of the Mantis, which is also the master bedroom, if you want it to be. It has kind of a four-person cafe-sized table uh, for you to eat. And I'm gonna show you how to make it into a bed or hangout platform. You take off the top, you unscrew the posts. For 21, we have a new place to store this table. There's a slot over here that holds the table against the wall. Pull that out and we're making the bed. Slip it onto its tracks here. Grab the pillow to make your legitimately sized double bed. And now you have a master bedroom or you have a great hangout area to do puzzles or pay cards or do whatever you want. Um, new for 2021 is this big master bedroom cubby to store lots of stuff, including a cell phone. There's a USB outlet that you can't see off camera and a special pocket down here. You can hang bags up here on the hooks. And if you're reading a book, there is a reading light back here. This is the optional bed couch storage area in the front of the Mantis. Um, it's a couch, it's a storage area, it's a bunk bed. Uh, 
With it all tipped up in this position, you can get bikes in here or bulky items that won't fit underneath when it's a couch. If you drop it down, there's a lot of storage down here. It's sized the height for our milk crates or duffel bags or anything else you might fit in there. And then finally, to make it into a bunk bed, you lift this up and there are straps with carabiners at both ends that hook up here. <clears throat> you can sleep up here and if you have a toddler or an infant, we have a bunk mat, which keeps your toddlers or infant safely in their bed, which is nice. to know. There you go. You can't roll out of bed now and there are convenient storage pockets in the net. My right hand is sitting on the optional wet bath. It's a table or countertop when it's not a bathroom, but when you want a shower or a toilet, you clip up the top, you latch it up here, you unsnap this, which holds your shower curtain, privacy curtain, and you set this up and you're good to go. I have set up the shower curtain. It attaches at the top with bungees attached to carabiners up top at four different places. And at the bottom, there are four snaps that give you the tautness and make it into a little room. This side has closures so you can step inside and have a modest amount of privacy while you are showering. We have uh, shades and screens on each of six big acrylic windows that are insulated. The new recycled ripstop polyester tent side has four big mesh windows for 360 degree views and great cross ventilation. I want to show you how to close the mantis roof. There's a pull strap here and there are gas dampers uh, so it can't come crashing down. You can pull hard or you can pull less hard. It's going to come down at the same speed because of those dampers. I like to pause right around here so that you can pull the tent in and make sure it's not going to fluff out and get caught in the roof mechanism or uh, in the weather stripping. Let it come down. That last bit. Go over to your latches, roll up the tent so it doesn't get pinched in the mechanism. Grab the J-bolt on the D-hook and lock it closed. Do that on both sides and your roof is secure and you're ready to leave.